Hi, people. Um, I was about to go to bed, and I was just checking emails, whatever, and other stuff. And I came across this article, and this is this is hidden close to home for me. This is what's happening probably everywhere but people just don't give a flying fuck they don't care enough you know we call ourselves human beings we say that we've got morals and ethics we call ourselves christians and catholic and whatever we say that we believe in god and god's going to come and save us like fuck you we're a bunch of assholes. Assholes. Truth be told, people just care about themselves. They just care about themselves. They take orders from people and they follow orders from people who don't give a shit about them. Disability Care Agency banned after degrading death of Adelaide woman Anne-Marie Smith. Anne-Marie Smith didn't ask for the life that she got. The disability care provider for an Adelaide woman with cerebral palsy who died in disgusting and degrading conditions earlier this year has been banned from operating under the NDIS. The NDIS Quality and Safeguards Commission on Wednesday announced it was revoking the registration of the company responsible for caring for 54-year-old woman Anne-Marie Smith before her death in what police described as deeply shocking conditions in April. The NDIS Commission said the company, Integrity Care, SA had its registration cancelled and would be issued with a banning order for a number of contra uh, contraventions of the NDIS Act following an investigation into the appalling circumstances of Smith's death. That investigation remains ongoing at Graham Head. The NDIS Quality and Safeguards Commissioner said in a statement and commission would take decisions about any further regulatory actions if required. Our first priority has been the safety of the other NDIS participants supported by Integrity Care during our investigation. We issued a compliance notice requiring Integrity Care to engage an independent, suitably qualified health professional to undertake a physical welfare check on the NDIS participants they support. The NDIS Commission has also worked with the National Disability Insurance Agency to make contact with all NDIS participants receiving support from Integrity Care to check on their well-being. Smith died in the Royal Australia uh, Adelaide Hospital on the 6th of April after being discovered in putrid conditions in her Adelaide home. According to detectives, she had been sitting in the same woven cane chair for more than a year, her flesh was rotting and she was malnutrished. Police launched their investigation soon after Smith's death. The NDIS commissioner appointed former federal court judge Alan Robertson to lead independent inquiry. Smith's former carer was charged with manslaughter over her death. The NDIS Commission previously fined Integrity Care $12,000 in May for their failure to notify the Commission of Smith's death within 24 hours. The revocation of Integrity Care's registration will take effect from the 14th of August, while the ban will come into place from the 21st of August. This is humanity. This is what we have become. This is humanity.
when I read this, it upset the fuck out of me. Because it reminds me of my bro. And the constant fight that both he and I have gone through for 14 years, trying to keep him safe. And no matter what you do, the court system is against you. Everybody is against you. That my brother can't walk, is in a wheelchair because of other people's incompetence, because of, of these, these carers. He should never be hired for this kind of work ever. He should literally be hung, not charged, because they're still living. This brings back memories of my bro. When Disability Services Commission here in Australia, in Perth, he was living in one of their group homes. Whoever was taking care of him that day fried his feet and a hand. And then had the audacity to cover it up. When I tried to find a law firm to sue them, no law firm would take the case on. They said we didn't have a case. Even though there was a gross lack of duty of care, the system, people, is not designed to help you. It's not designed to help any of us. My bro, if it wasn't for me, would have probably been dead by now. How many people out there don't have family? They rely on those carers to take care of them. And if they aren't taking care of them, what hope do they have? Just like the elderly aged care homes, no different, no different. I had a woman tell me she worked, she was a supervisor for an aged care home. She said all these young people, and not just the young people, but some that were working there, elderly that were bedridden, that couldn't move. They were dependent on somebody to feed them, somebody to make sure that they had a drink. And these bitches would put a jug of water on the bedside cabinet. The person clearly couldn't move to even get to the water. The stories that I've been told by other professional people that paid visits to certain aged care places where they saw false teeth in a glass of, of whatever water was left that was full of mould. This goes on, people. This goes on every day. We don't want to hear about it. People don't want to hear about it because it's too hard to deal with. They didn't ask to be disabled. They didn't ask by accident to be that dependent on anybody. Age is something that happens to all of us. You don't have family, 
you're worse off. If you have family that doesn't give a fuck, you're left in exactly the same circumstances that this woman is, or was, I should say. Is this what we have become as human beings, as supposed Christians, supposed Catholics, supposed religious people, supposed believers in God? You know, I pray to God. I go to church every Sunday. What the fuck do you ask for? What do you ask for? Smith died in the Royal Adelaide Hospital on 6th of April after being discovered in putrid conditions in her Adelaide home. According to detectives, she had been sitting in the same woven chair for more than a year and her flesh was rotting and she was malnourished. Majority, no correction. All of these places, whether they take care of disabled, whether they take care of the elderly, they get so much money per client, as they say. Client meeting the disabled, the elderly. They get so much money per client every year that it's beyond it, it, it's incredible and yet some get medically restrained i tried to fight that as a lot of you know that follow me i tried to fight that for my bro they tried to medically restrain him and they couldn't because I wouldn't allow it. So they took me to court. And they, they pretty much, the judge listened to people that don't know my brother instead of listening to a family member. They took me off his medical. He's still under one of the Oxycontins that they had put him on. This is months later. Granted, he used to be on two. The court system is not there to help you. Unless we wake the fuck up and start standing up for each other, we ain't got shit. We ain't got shit. People commit suicide a lot of the time because they don't have anybody because they can't see a way out there's no one to talk to how many times i don't know about you guys but there have been times where i've actually looked at my phone at like two o'clock in the morning when i want somebody to talk to and i looked through my phone one night and i thought well no if i ring that one they're going to be shitty because i woke them up and if i ring that one yeah, no, they've got work tomorrow, so they'll probably be shitty if I wake them up. And I went through the numbers that I had on my phone, and I discovered that at the end of the day, I couldn't ring anybody without getting somebody pissed off. Is this what we have turned into? That one human being many human beings are capable of doing this to other human beings look at what victoria melbourne is going through and what are the rest of you doing at the rest of the states what is anybody doing like i always say Technology has progressed, humanity has not, it's gone backwards.